If you want others to accept and love you, you must first accept and love who you are first. If you want others to see you as a confident person, you must first see yourself as a confident person. You want the world to accept you. But first of all, you have to learn to accept, to love, and to embrace yourself. Accept yourself for whatever that you have. The reason I say learn to accept yourself because I genuinely believe that it is the process. It's not easy to just tell yourself that, hey, now I will accept and love myself. And tomorrow overnight, you will just automatically love yourself. No, it doesn't happen that way. And for so long, I used to believe that, hey, I just love myself, but my brain doesn't believe that way. Because there's so many times that I fail, there's so many times that I don't take action. And it's really hard in those times to actually love and accept myself. So actually, that's what I learned over time is loving yourself and embracing who you are is the process. You will make mistakes here and there, and then you're gonna hate yourself. But in those times that when you hate yourself, when you don't like yourself, when you feel doubt about yourself, that's when you remind yourself that, hey, this is the process. It happens as being all of these emotions, all of these feelings, they are all valid. The key is just to accept yourself no matter what. And each time like that, you're getting better and better. And whenever the next time when you feel doubt, it's get easier for you to remind yourself that, hey, this is process and I continue to accept and love myself. Because when we know that it's, it's a process, we stop putting pressure on ourselves. For some reason, many people believe that loving yourself just happened automatically overnight and happened tomorrow. No. And then when they believe like that, they put pressure on themselves. And it's really hard to actually love yourself if you put too much pressure on yourself. Because at the end of the day, we are human beings. We are not perfect, right? The best thing we can do to ourselves is try to be better and better. Aiming for that excellence, not perfection. When you love yourself, you will reflect your internal world to the outside. And people will start to perceive you that way. People start accepting you and loving yourself that way. And here's the key. I say many people because not everyone will love and accept you. Sometimes we want to believe that, hey, once I love myself, everybody will love me. No, not everybody. And in fact, even when you love yourself, there are many other people still don't love you. But there's a guarantee for sure that if you don't love yourself, nobody else or very few people would love and accept yourself. So let me break it down into further detail and the math so that you can understand. Let's say if you see yourself as a confident person, maybe 50% of people you encounter start treating you as a confident person. However, if you don't see yourself as a confident person, maybe only 10% of people you encounter will see you that way. The point is simple. If you see yourself as a high-value individual, not everyone will like you, but there are a lot, a lot of people will see you that way. On the other hand, if you don't believe that you are a confident individual, there's a guarantee that nobody or very few people and those very few people eventually will give up on you and don't perceive you as a confident person. So what do you want? Which battle is better for you? Believe in yourself, love in yourself, perceive yourself as a high value person or don't believe in yourself, see yourself as a low value person. Which one do you want to choose? The reason I pointed out like this because many times we expect that everybody is supposed to like us. Everybody is supposed to love us. No, not everybody. Many people, some people, but not everybody. You need to get rid of that belief out of your mind. You are not here to attract everybody. You are not here to expect everybody to like you. Right, I mean, if you look at it this way, not every woman you encounter will like you, right? It's the same thing, not every woman you see, you will like it. Not every woman you see, you will attract, right? 
why do you expect everybody you encounter will perceive you as a high value person, will perceive you as a confident person? If you believe that way, and when you love yourself, when you see yourself as a confident person, and then you put yourself out there, and then there's some woman, some people don't like you. And if you reflect your confidence, your value based on those interactions, you will never learn to love and accept yourself. Because the reality is, some people will like you, and some people don't like you. And if you only love yourself when many people like you, you will eventually end up in a disaster. You will eventually end up being depressed frustrated so learn to love and accept yourself no matter what no matter what's outside circumstances no matter how other people perceive view or think about you it doesn't matter it's all start with you first learn to love and accept everything about yourself your strength your weakness your flaw your mistake it doesn't matter learn to accept it because when you learn to accept it many people will accept you the condition is that you have to love and accept yourself first not the other way around don't start loving yourself when other people love yourself first no love yourself first and then other will love you accept and embrace your weakness embrace anything about yourself that you can't really change your height, your face, your fingers, the way you sleep, the way you eat, the way you walk, the way you look at the world, the way you were born, your eyes, your families, your race, your skin color, your hair, anything that you can't really change about yourself, your circumstances, your past, accept everything. And I know it's not an easy process. Because sometimes we want to be better. Sometimes we look at other people and we want to be like them, right? I'm not saying it's easy. And that's why I totally believe that it's a process. And you're allowed to make mistakes. You're allowed to experience the time that when you hate yourself, when you upset yourself, when you disappoint yourself, you're allowed to experience all of those. And this time you experience those feelings. Just gentle remind yourself that, hey, this is the process. Be patient with myself. Be gentle. Start learning. Start falling in love with yourself again. Start accepting yourself again. I'm convinced that loving yourself and accepting yourself and feel confident about yourself is the first step to attract the right type of people in your life. Attract the right type of woman in your life. It's all start with you first. If you want woman to perceive you as a confident person, then start seeing yourself as a confident person. Start seeing yourself as a high value person. When you start learning and accepting yourself, and you will make mistakes along the way in this journey, but it's time when you make those mistakes. Just remind yourself again and again that, hey, I will keep loving and accepting myself. And over time, when you have more positive experiences showing you that you love and accept who you are, it will be easier to love and accept yourself next time. Don't pressure yourself and think that you are expected to love yourself all the times. You see the process of reminding yourself again and again and again. It's all star with you. It doesn't matter what others think of you. It's what matters is how you think of yourself internally. So my handsome friend, be gentle with yourself. You are not perfect. And me too. We are not perfect, but we can do better each day and each day. We can remind ourselves daily that, hey, love yourself, accept yourself. Never forget that. It is a process. I hope you enjoyed this episode and got some value out of it. And if you did, please do my boy a favor. Leave a great review on Apple Podcast. That will help this channel. 
and until next time, you are a beautiful human being on a mission. Thank you.